And joining us to look at this and other political issues tonight is Otumba Besman Unze Jumbo. It's President Team Nigeria for Change. Otumba, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for making our time to join us uh, tonight. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Did you monitor that event, the Thanksgiving service in Port Harcourt? Yes, um, I watched. Pardon? I was coming in and I was... I saw it, actually. I okay. Did. What do you think about Amechi's declaration? It is a democracy. And um, in all honesty, Amechi is qualified to run for the presidency of Nigeria. Amechi is experienced enough to run. And he has exercised his, um, his rights as a free Nigerian citizen. Because I, I like it. Because I'm one of those who believe that um, the presidency after President Mohamed Buhari should come to the south of Nigeria. Amazing. Amazing. Now, I'm going to come to uh, President Buhari's um, uh, perceived involvement in that, but uh, talking about the presidency going to the south, do you think this is another way of pacifying his declaration, Amish's declaration, is another way of pacifying uh, people in the south? Um, I don't know what you mean by pacifying. But no, if it, if, it, if it does go to him eventually, if it gets a mandate, do you think um, uh, that's enough to pacify them? Truth of the matter is, um, it is only those who don't love Nigeria, yeah. who don't love the unity of this country, that would uh, want power to remain in the north after President Buhari. Hmm. Because we have a gentleman agreement in the interest of Nigeria for power to rotate between north and south. And south. Hmm. So, Amechi, um, in the line of that, have exercised his belief in that um, gentleman agreement that power should come to the south. So, if it comes to the south, then the competition will be among south and hmm both in APC and in PDP to present the two presidential candidates for the two dominant parties. So okay. it's, not about, it's not about consolation, it's about the right thing to do. To do, okay. It's not about consolation or pacifying, it's about the right thing to do. Now, there are insinuations in some quarters that the president's body language is in support for uh, the minister's bait. Do you also think so? I don't think so because... Um, um, we've had speculations all around. The president's body language is supporting at a point. The president's body language was for Shiwaju. The president's body language was for Shibajo. The president's body language was for Umai. It was for Amechi. So they're just conjectures in the realm of um, speculation. So I don't think it's true. But if it does ring true, what does that pertain for Lagos, for some who love Lagos? There's no relationship between Amitri's declaration and some will lose. No, this is um, what I'm saying. Uh, Otsuba, let me, let me make it clearer, okay? Now, if it's true that the president is supporting uh, Amitri or Amitri is his candidate or his surrogate, quote and unquote, then uh, what's beginning to happen within the folds, the ranks and files of the APC that may trickle down to Lagos? Governor Babajide Sonwolu will earn his second term on the basis of performance, hmm. on the basis of who he is, and on the basis of um, the Lagos developmental template, which up to 90 something percent I think he has kept. Babajide Sonwolu is not deterred by Amechi or by anything about body language supporting Amechi. Babaji is only will earn his right for second time in office by virtue of his performance. And I don't see, APC does not also want to lose the presidency. So we are very careful who the party presents as his presidential candidate. Don't forget the PDP is still there. So the APC must do its own work well to present somebody who will be acceptable to go the north and the South, someone who's, whose performance will earn votes for the party 
It is not about prejudice. It's not about sentiments. It's about retaining power as a party. So Sawolu, in his own state in Lagos, I would say it's, 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 a, it's a foregone conclusion. You won't try, I mean, I don't think anybody would try to rock the steady boat that Sawolu is cruising in right now. Okay, why, why would you say it's a uh, foregone conclusion or it's a concluded matter? Uh, looking at other uh, candidates from other parties who are beginning to uh, gather and garner uh, followership and momentum here and there. Do you, you mean in do, Lagos? Yes. Do you think that um, there, there, there cannot be uh, any other formidable team that could challenge him? Is that what you're saying? A year to election, um, the only challenge he's going to have is probably within the APC. I don't think there's any other party in Lagos. I mean, realistically, um, it took um, a certain candidate that left the APC to PDP to, to try to waken them up, to galvanize them into um, knowing that there's an election in 2023. Um, so, and I don't see that candidate as a formidable one against Sonolu. Truth is, if it's on base of performance, it is only somebody who has other prejudice and other sentiments outside of performance, outside of sincerity and honesty, that will say Sonolu has not done well enough. Sonolu came into power and by the time, I mean, look at it. What the things that they started, he finished. What are we talking about? Is it education? Is it railway? Is it transportation? Is it, is it even in his personality as a human, as a humane person? Despite all the all the um, problems that came along his tenure, he surmounted everything with grit, with tact, with diplomacy, and with that thing the Yorubas call Omoluabi. So I don't see any opposition in Lagos for Sonwolu, and I'm being serious about that. Thank you very much. I'll make that my last question to you. What we'll do is we'll have you again once... Um, once uh, he officially declares for second term. We'll, we'll have you again, and then we'll, we'll look at this and sundry issues surrounding this again, especially... If I have one, I will, I will buy his phone for second term. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.